I'm gonna leave my film to dry. It looks like it's come out very nice, actually. They look like good negatives. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Gavin. I do some alternative photography, analog photography, some other stuff as well. This time around, we're going to use our Bronica camera, infrared photography. Get infrared light to work in your camera, whether it's analog or digital, you need a filter. The filter I'm using is a 720 nanometer filter. This will reduce the light by about two to three stops. And you gotta take this into consideration when you're setting your exposure on your camera. The film I'm using is the Roli, and I think it's 400 ASA, which reduces down to about 25 ASA once you consider the filter. The next tip to get those infrared pictures is to take your camera out after midday or in the early afternoon to get that UV light. The chlorophyll in foliage, especially leaves, will help your pictures. So go to parks and forests to get those leafy greens. It was a glorious day in Graz, in Stadtpark, the city park. And I used my 10 euro filter, which I bought secondhand with a bulldog clip to clip it on. It works fine. Shot 25 ASA. Uh, one fifteenth of a second uh, f8 in bright sunlight uh, the film was a probably about two or three years expired so I'm on a fresh roll uh, actually the fresh roll is in the Bronica right now if you can see that yeah so that's the first roll which is about two years old so it's so I added an extra stop to it it was time to load up the camera with a second roll of film. This time wasn't expired, it was a new roll. I had noticed in the development process, which I go through at the end of this video, that there were some spots on it. I'm not too sure why. Uh, the results were lovely. And of course, on, pit, on tip number five, a tripod and a cable release, you are shooting at 25 ASA, so the shutter speed is quite slow. things about infrared film it's pretty much inexpensive Adox, Ilford, Roli and I think there's another brand that does infrared film but you can get a roll of film for under under 10 euros or 10 dollars uh, very easy to work with and you can use it as a black and white film too without the filter at Schloss Eggenberg, which is also in Graz. We've got a lot of parks in Graz, so there's got a great opportunity to shoot infrared. And I'm looking through the camera, through the filter, because it's bright enough to see it, but normally you can't see anything. So most of the time you've got to focus and then put the filter on once you've composed your image. Another thing is, infrared lends itself very well to the lit process. And I've got a number of videos on the lit process. 
and I have prepared papers already in my darkroom with these negatives for another video. Uh, some infrared selfie with the phone it's strange but you can hold the same filter on your mobile phone uh, I'm using the front camera of this phone with an infrared filter uh, you can see the foliage of the trees in the background So there you go, 10 tips to do infrared photography. Uh, it's really simple, nothing to it. I mean, for 10 euros, it's a lot of fun, whether you're on digital or film, even a mobile phone. Um, yeah, it's worth a try. On the next video, I'm actually gonna do a walkthrough on how to develop the infrared film uh, with Rodinol and I'm doing this in my dark room and then hopefully after that video I will actually make prints from these negatives in the lit process. So there you go. I um, hope you found the video useful. Do the usual comment, thumbs up, subscribe, all of that wonderful stuff helps me make more videos for you guys out there. So thank you for watching the video. Please help out this small channel. You can leave a comment down below or give me a thumbs up, subscribe and hit the notification button. There's even a thank you button as well if you want to donate. It helps me to make more videos like this in the future. So thank you and I hope to see you on the next one. Goodbye.